Welcome back. 25 years of doom, I'm Temin. I'm Mag. And I'm Aces High. We're back at it with Eternal Doom. Uh, oh, if you shoot this, uh, you get a little <laughs> mean message. I'm sorry for punching you, Monitor. That was in a different run where I didn't succeed. So I just placed that in. But, <laughs> hey, you know. Um, so that, lip by the way, this is uh, Time Gate by Sphera Cavernmo, uh, who you might remember from, I think, did he have a level yet? This might be his first level in Eternal Doom. And also he did um, the the good levels and the master levels for Doom 2. Yeah, I was going to say, the name sounds familiar, but maybe not necessarily from this yet. Yeah, and he also worked at a certain company with a certain John uh, that may or may not have, you know, had something to do with charged uh, particles. I, I was just about to say something about making you something. <laughs> something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yeah, this is... Oh god. This is the level with the uh, seizure warning. I'll do my best to, uh, you know, keep uh, keep viewers aware about that one. Because the flashing is intense. I forgot this was going to be the epilepsy mm. roller coaster ride. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking but forward yeah. to it. But yeah, this is the, the time gate, which uh, has implications for the rest of uh, the megawad, really. Until, like, parts of episode three, but we'll get there when we get there. Uh, time yeah. time shenanigans? Time shenanigans, Yeah, indeed. time shenanigans. I love time shenanigans, especially when they're not done very well, and it's really more confusing. <laughs> time? Time. Time. Timing. No. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, well, uh, I'm sure once I clear out the perimeter here, things will be all good. Hey, I found a switch. Um, gosh. Not uh, Sphere's most egregious, uh, egregious switch hunt in this level pack, but more on that later, I oh, suppose. Oh, good. I can't wait. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, we made it in the base. That's good. I like the the neat little wire textures here. Oh, is that running little, across like, the floor? You mean? Yeah, emergency floor lights or something. Oh, yeah, that's know, what it is. Like egress. Yeah, the light. lighting in this. Yeah, the lighting in this room is great. Like he he lined up the sector shadows with the textures, the mid texts To give you that dynamic look, it's really yeah. good. It's uh, really yeah, good. Yeah, it's great. I mean, again, uh, again, sorry, first time, no complaints on how this level looks. It's This, <laughs> yeah. this building is very cool, very ominous, yeah, very imposing. Like, it's got, uh, there's definitely a feeling that, Ooh. like, there's something serious here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right. Uh, that's Alrighty an important then. picture. <laughs> uh, that's a diagram. Oh, flashing lights. Close your eyes, everyone. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh joy! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh great! Oh oh man! It's this kind of <laughs> yeah. It's uh pretty messed up, and you gotta fight stuff in it. It's really disorienting. We're in um, the time tunnel. Or not yet. Which I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm not exactly sure, like what series of light effects they used to create this, because. I don't know, maybe they're just all blinking at different speeds. I know you can make them blink at different speeds, but... They're probably like, blinking at probably different part speeds, of it. and it is creating an optical illusion. Of yeah, that's that's probably it. Down the hallway. I'm sure they yeah. spent a decent amount of time to make sure they got the right um, amount of time between the blinks to give it that effect. Yeah. Right. Um, gosh, this blue room reminds me of a dream I had once. Also, um... Uh, there was a screen that instructed us to wait in the airlock for four seconds for it to come back down to press the safety switch. You Which don't are... have to wait for it to come back down. You can just press it while it's still recessed in the ceiling. <laughs> wow, that, hey. was, that was rude. That was rude. Yeah, it's, uh, honestly, good I did wait this time. <laughs> oh, God. That would have just been horrible. Yep. Doom yeah. Guy just reaches his paper-thin hand up into the ceiling. Between the gap yeah. of the, you know, gap. I never learned with pain elementals in rocket launcher, <laughs> by the way. 
It always feels like a good idea until it doesn't that, work. Yeah. Which in this case, it did work, so I'm good. Yeah. So wait, we are doing oh, time close your eyes again. to oh, what? Yeah. To get keys? More or less. We this is beyond the red gate, I believe, which we disengaged by using the red key previously. Right. We gotta disengage the blue gate to get to the time machine. I see. I, I guess this is like maybe the power room or something. I don't know. Boy, they should really have those lights checked out then. Cause... Yeah. Honestly. Oh, uh, All right. we're back we to, to stable lighting. Also, I've disengaged the blue gate, and also yep. I can go outside now. Yep. All right. Now we've gotten both of the seals disengaged. Yep. Ooh. And here's the time machine. Whoa. Cool. Um, and there was a diagram uh, that tells you which gate goes to which oh time gosh. period. Uh, one of them is the exit. <laughs> oh, oh, God, there were two of them. And yeah, time vials. Okay, so I have to imagine that if this is done in... Oh, man, it depends to what level the time travel, quote-unquote, realism uh, goes to here. Because... Uh, if you were to time travel into the past and you had to set like a specific coordinate for where you were in the past, if you were to just end up in the exact same spot, then you would be in a random Ooh. spot in space. Right? Fancy. I'm making a save state to show all the uh, the possible timelines. Okay. This is a dark, desolate future with cyber demons. Okay, so this oh is God. a good guy oh, disappears. Oh geez. That's pretty what? cool. Oh. oh, oh, all right. Well, yeah, there's not really much. This one wow. goes to fire. Go to hell. Uh, or, you know. We're just... I think this one is negative 10 million BC. Oh. <laughs> uh, and then the other two are, uh, the other two are exits. Um, fun fact, one of them was meant to be a secret exit that sent you to the start of this level again. Oh. <laughs> But it didn't work if you started the map from, like, the command line. Like, you warped to that map with the warp command. Oh, I see. It had different okay. behavior, so they cut that feature. Oh. But it would have been neat, you know? Yeah. It would have been cool. So, yeah, um, so wait, what, what? what time did we go back to? Or go forward That's... to? Or... You know, I, I wasn't paying that close attention. <laughs> Let's see, plus uh, but, 10 billion, that sounds bad. Minus okay. 50,000, that also sounds bad. I'll just go one of the other two, it's fun. Okay, so... Uh, Split the you difference. If you, <laughs> you finish this level, should you choose the right gate by entering a gate and you are transported 1,250 years into the past? Okay. Ah. All right, that, that explains the architecture then. Yeah. I, Thanks, I was just, Doomwiki. Yeah, I was just curious, um, based off of the design of the level. Yeah, so uh, get ready for the vast ma majority of uh, Eternal Doom to be like medieval castle levels. I swear there's like 20 medieval castle maps in this and they're all huge and, you know, sprawling. You say, that like, that's a, and... you say that like that's a bad thing. Well, it it's not a bad thing. It's honestly a great thing. It's just that like the level design leaves something to be desired. A lot of them look really great. Like, this is a pretty good-looking Doom Sewer right here. Oh, for but, sure. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. You, you get stuck in them real easy for dumb reasons. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll see. Yeah. I, I just meant more in the sense that it's like, well, no more tech bases and, you know, going to hell <laughs> and being on yeah, the no. surface of moons and stuff like that. Instead, we get to yeah, go none of somewhere that. special. High fantasy. Yeah, it's fun. Um, just, you know, the maps are a pain in the butt. Fair enough. Some of them, anyway. Most of them, I feel. I mean, when every map is enormous, it... it with the scaling difficulty per map, then comes a bit of a problem. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Funky skybox. Yeah, the Kakademon's long gone. Who knows where he went. 
Mimi didn't actually finish that one. It just kept like flying off somewhere. Oh, he's, he's dead. He's just like a million miles away on the ground. Who knows how far down? Ah, I see. It's a good looking stained glass corridor. I guess I'm going back to finish these guys real quick. I don't remember them being much of a problem, but you know, I did record this wad forever ago. Mm -hmm. In addition to lots of other things that we're watching. Mm -hmm. I like the designs that they have on all the doors. Oh yeah. Right? yeah. Um, gosh, did I They're... miss it? Did... I, I might have missed the, the the fake swinging door. Hello, crack in the wall. Oh Ooh, man, nice. nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, Eternal Doom likes to pull stuff like that. I'm pretty sure this uh, is necessary to proceed, which oh. you know. So they're well, not secrets, huh? Yeah, it's a, so it's it, a bit return to danger but it's pretty obvious in, this time. In this instance, it's not just hugging blue walls that look like all the other blue walls. Right, right. It's, oh, well, that's a cracked wall, but also I'm playing in the Doom engine, so I would have no incentive or idea to shoot or punch it. So. Right. But it works. But it works. Well, I've got the crypt super shotgun, that's great. Yep, we think, whoa, whomever it was <laughs> that, uh... Entered the bone zone. Happy whoever, Halloween! Ah. Whoever it was that told them, uh... Whoever it was that got buried there and said, bury me with my shotgun, we're thankful. <laughs> We know it wasn't Doom Guy because he has to be buried with his rocket launcher. Right. Per Plutonia's <laughs> ending. <laughs> right. All right. Well, I've, right. I've diffused this trap. I think. Back to the. Oh, it's a kind of a fake door effect. Oh, it's and there's just another like, one. Yeah. Hey. Oh, nice. Sweet. Didn't um, grab the bad one. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> who, who needs it? Oh, I'm trying to get some infighting going. It's not really working out too well in my favor. Oh, Baron's hitting someone. Yeah, I think oh, he yeah. shot the uh, I was gonna say that um, I really like the way the what they do for opening doors now, since it you know makes them literally like giant wooden or stone doors. Right. But I wonder, when you open them, um, do you like only have a certain amount of space that you can move through them, or like are the models just like aesthetic at that point and you can walk through them? So, you know, they are solid. Mm -hmm. It's like, so basically what it is is that they have a series of instant lowering and raising floors on a bunch of floor triggers nearby in order to create that effect, more or less. Okay, all right. And so, so it, yeah, it's just like a separate sector at a different angle with the same textures. Okay, all right, so it is, so they are effectively real walls then. Or Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I so, guess. uh, go on. I, I just wasn't sure which one it was since, you know, you have it's a door, so you just move through it really quickly. Right, right. Yeah, no uh, hex and poly objects in this in Doom yet. Yeah, right. Yeah, no rotating objects. Whoa. Yep. Oh. Goes up yeah. or down, oh, no. and that's it. We didn't get the key. That was too they good to be true. They tricked us. Yeah, they put me in the vile cage. How rude. <laughs> Get this guy out of my space. There we go. There we go. All right. Well, that's good. Um, oh, okay. okay. There we go. It, it's, I, I, I solved the mystery? Oh. Yep, I, ah, I got there it. There we go. No problem. Oh. Also, if you climb up. Ooh. Yeah, you get a secret mega sphere. A good secret. Yep. 
Alright, we gotta go take care of this mad wizard. Another one. Yeah. I feel like we've seen a lot of arch files in this video. Yeah, we're yeah, getting up we... there. Whoa! Oh no! S surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I hey. see that you had invincibility spears? Hey, hey there, there are! Hey! Also... A lot of rockets. I don't need to deal with this. <laughs> nah. Uh, Have fun like, in there, Cyber Demon. Looks like that I, was your last enemy to kill, too. Yeah, I do like that if you uh, have the instinct to immediately backpedal when you see that Cyber Demon, that they do teleport you back into the courtyard. Yeah, so like it's good. You, you have the opportunity to escape getting immediately decimated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this I love this like uh, starting courtyard, by the way. Oh, this is very, very colorful. Yeah, exactly. This music is like, sounds like something from a Mech Warrior game from the time. <laughs> like, oh, it's, you know what? It's I really it. weird. I'm just like listening to this. I'm just sitting here. I'm just like, wow. It's like I'm playing Mech Warrior 2 again for some reason. <laughs> I hear it a little bit. Yeah. And who knows? Maybe the composer played Mech Warrior 2. I bet he did. When did that come out? Uh, this like is a 97 log. Uh, Mech Warrior 2 came out before this, I'm pretty sure. Or would have come sure. out before this. Because there was, I, I think there was a pretty big gap between 2 and 3. Three was, yeah, was because I feel like Quake. two came out in '96 or something. Yeah, I can't say for certain. Um, yeah, I'm trying enough. to remember when the first one came out now because that might give me a better idea of when two came out. Because uh, a out. long time before yes. two, yeah, yes. like that was another one that had a huge gap. Like um, each each Mech Warrior game was. Uh, well, up until three and four, secretly. Yeah, um, and then all the other funky, uh, all the mercenary games and Mech Assault right. and all the other. Yeah. But but the the releases of one, two, and three were very spaced out, and each game was like an incredible overhaul of new technology. Mm -hmm. One, you know, compared to its its previous game. Oh wow. 1995 is when Mech Warrior huh. 2 came out. I was going to say 4 or 5. Wow. 6 sounded a little bit too late for what it looks like. I mean, Fair enough. yeah, oh, well, maybe that's what I'm confusing it with, is that when it got uh, console releases. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I got a key. Uh, anyways, so it's probably likely that they would have played this you know, because it was really popular. Yeah. Right. Big PC game. Anyways. I wanted to point out that I had a fun little Invincibility Berserk Rampage. Yep. It was fun. <laughs> it was I didn't fun. Miss it. I just didn't want to interrupt. So, so you did pick up Invincibility before you got the Berserk pack, right? I got them at the same time. Oh, okay. It just, um, like, you still had, like, the, the Red Haze, I guess, or the Red Haze overrode the monochrome. Yeah, that's I don't, the I, one. Yeah. I think both of them can be on at once, maybe? I think one of... Mm, no, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know, I'd have to check the tapes. We all know how I am about... Hey, I broke through oh, the window. Oh, hey. I escaped through the, escaped window. Through the window. Wow. We're doing a lot of breaking stuff in this, uh, yeah. so far in this particular couple levels. It's an immersive sim wad. It's a very good sim. use of instantly lowering doors and a trigger wall with tactile. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so, so they are very specifically, like, you need to shoot them or hit them. Like, you're not... Just yeah. like kind of doing it for show and also hitting the space bar and we can't see that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wouldn't put that past me, but no, I did have to shoot them. Uh, yeah, I'm fairly certain with these, uh, it's a separate flag for shooting and using. So you could yeah. set it up to do one or the other, or both if you wanted to. Okay. The G-type trigger for gun. <laughs> <laughs> This and your fist also is a gun. 
Oh, that, yeah. actually, that, that checks out. Yeah. With the way mm -hmm. Doom Guy is. No, he's, yeah, he's totally got a, a pretty big pair of guns. <laughs> He'd rather flex his knuckles. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hold on. That's, I might be getting my mythologies mixed up there. Like right. the icon the city the red shuffle? No. There you go. Uh, so there's a commander Ooh, keen a... if you can't hear it behind yeah. that skull that we have to kill to open door 666. I don't know if I've ever explained this, but on any map, it's not hard coded to a specific map. If you kill all commander keens in a map, uh, sectors tagged 666 will raise as though they were a door. I mean, I think we've oh. talked about that, but I don't know if we ever clarified that it's on any map, because it always seems yeah. to show up in the secret levels. Yeah. For sure. But yeah, it works on any map. So you can put Which... Commander Keens in any map, then. Oh, you know what? We I believe yep. we have wow. explained it because of uh, some of the maps where they would replace uh, Commander Keen with a sprite of, like, a reactor or something like that, or a thing that right. you can right. or shoot. Yeah, I, I don't know that a map like that has occurred on a map other than map 32 yet, though, oh, wait, so... Oh, yeah, because those were... Worth yeah. mentioning. Still. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I was just thinking, it's like, I feel like this is the first time where we've done this, where it wasn't, like, normal to do it, because it's a single level. I mean, mm -hmm. if we yeah. haven't, it's been a very long time. <laughs> right. Yeah, we have covered quite a few wads. Indeed. Uh, I'm in the skeleton well. The welleton. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's get out of here, dang it. Heck. So, Alright. Back out. came through the waterfall. Yep. This is a video game. Checks out. Yep. Oh. Oh, and look who spawned in the courtyard. Oh, okay. I was just about to say, when the heck did she show up? Oh. It's, it's a gotcha fight. Oh. All right, Sweet. who's gonna win? I think I know. I don't know. Ooh, I think actually. I know too. In the meantime, I'll press this and get in here and kill this guy, I guess. It's the one who's not trying, the, wow. not trying to shoot us. <laughs> the yeah, mastermind exactly. won. Well, yeah, the cyber yeah. demon was too busy trying to shoot at us, and so he got shoot to bits. Yeah. I find that if uh, there's no... Uh, Forced range, like in Gotcha, that the yeah. Spider Mastermind tends to win more, mm -hmm. just because of I guess RNG bullet spread. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. shenanigans! Fair. Yeah, and it seems like it's very easy to confuse the Cyber Demon or just figure out a way to have him not shoot. And then, the, yeah, that's well, true. Yeah, the Cyber Demon will move around a lot more if he's yeah. up close to something. I can't this, uh, remember if that behavior changes or not if you have fast projectiles or not. I don't right. know. I'm sure Decino talked about that at one point, but I don't remember. Mm. Yeah, this fight is a bit rougher than it looks, also. Also, nice. I hope he who enter. Oh, look at all them spider webs. Yeah. Oh, man, this room extra sucks, because in, in addition to the hard chain gunner fight, there's the uh, um, possibility of Viz plane overflow, which did happen. And oh, it sucked. No. Uh oh. So wait, did it happen? Our, oh, okay. I guess it happened a different time. We didn't get to see it. Yeah. Barabbas. Yeah. My, yeah. Huh? We're in the wood level. <laughs> oh, are we going up into a forest or? It would be. I wouldn't mind that. We've gotten out of the uh, the castle and all that, and now we just get to go through the forest. Ooh, you Ooh. fancy. Oh, hello. Yep, surprise. Huh, that was Excuse a bit me, more Skeleton. jarring that time. Yeah, it happens. Yes, I would, I would definitely, in the old-fashioned tradition of describing video game levels by their most common thing, call this the wood level. 
<laughs> I was yep. I was gonna say something about how it definitely it does not feel like we're in medieval times anymore, and then of course we got came up to that door, and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, it definitely feels like we've gone to either a different time period or just a different like empire, a different part right. of Earth. For sure. Well, we're still we're still in the fantasy zone at least. Yeah, just you know, different. Uh, we're not in the European zone anymore. Right. Yeah. That megasphere would be nice, but eh. out of reach. Yep. Even standing on your yep, even standing on his tippy toes, you can't reach it. <laughs> yep. Poor good guy. You know, it's a good thing they still have electric lights here in High Fantasy. I just Yep. For some reason, that just dawned on me. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to point it out before, but then, I don't know, I guess I changed my mind. I was going to say something about how it's like, man, where did they get all this gunpowder and plasma and stuff in the medieval <laughs> period? Well, they found could've gone, We could have gone, like, com- all heretic, and, you know, now we're shooting crossbows and whatnot. Boy, wait till we do go all heretic. Oh, boy. There's, a, there's one of those coming up. I think 99. <laughs> Not till It's a very then. heretic wad. Yeah. Okay, I see. All right. When we get to it. Yeah, when we get there, we're working on it. Oh, but they still have torches. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So, so they can have light. It's like being at a. It's like being at a Renaissance fair. Oh you God! Know, <laughs> Wait, is that what's going on? Oh man! Oh God! <laughs> Secret eternal doom oh, lore you know discovered. What? I was. <laughs> I was going Where's to mention. Where's the clickbait thumbnail? So, when we were in the time machine level, going down the epilepsy tunnel. I was going to mention how it reminds me of, like, a strobe light in a haunted house. And we haven't (laughs) actually traveled through time. This is just a Ren (laughs) Fair. That was their really fancy is. twirly tube tunnel. The yep. reason, the really reason high Doom, production values. Oh yes, the reason Doom guy looks like this is not because of whatever the story <laughs> was for Eternal Doom. This is his actual <laughs> costume. Uh, for Ren Fair. He's a, he's a member of uh, oh, what? What do they call that? Um, the Anachronism Society. Oh God, probably. Don't ask me though. No. Well, that, that's one of them, anyways. Uh, one of the Renaissance Fair keep, uh, organizations. I know Anachronism yes. Society is like, well, Anachronism is in the name. Right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, he said. was just hanging out in the pool. Yeah. Thankfully, he uh, decided to try to resurrect things instead of try to kill you first. Yep. For a minute. He chose to give life rather than death for a second. <laughs> We appreciated it for that second. Mm-hmm. Oh well, such is the will of the archvile. Okay. Sometimes when Uh-oh. you speed up the footage, it's hard to tell if you actually open something or not, or if you're I just usually going slow it down it. if something of effect happens. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I just shot at that switch and nothing happened. I'm pretty, pretty conscious about that. What was that? that was over a, there. Yeah, that was a that was a uh, a monster noise. I'm not not heard. Before. Yeah, I don't. Might not have ever had a chance to bring it up, but in addition to the imps now being darker colored, the zombie men also have new wake up sounds. Oh. oh okay. It sounded. I don't know. It sounded like a pig. Uh. Did. Yeah. I guess so. Kind of. It's just a weird, raspy voice saying, he's over there. Over there. <laughs> yeah. Like that. Yeah, you got it. Mm-hmm. Uh, cyber demon in fighting. This guy doesn't stand the chance, I guess. No. Nope. All right, and got him. there he goes. Just a bit cheesy, but, you know, 
I don't have time to be strafing rockets all day. I mean, it looked like that was pretty easy to bait him into that too, because like yeah. you, you, you went around there. Everybody was awakened, and then you're just like, okay, I'll come back in a few <laughs> minutes. Yeah. And also, there was a spider mastermind there at some point. I didn't even get to see it before it died. Oh. Also, thank you, yellow line on the map, for showing me the way to the super shotgun. All roads lead to the super shotgun. Yeah, it's nice. Sometimes the auto map is helpful, sometimes it's not. Mostly, I feel like it's not an eternal doom. But hey, you can still have map markers, which come in handy when I want to say map 12. I mean, right. would you rather play this Wolfenstein style? You know? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. That sounds miserable. Well, that was a fun little attraction. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, what? The Revenants didn't really? stand much. Hey, that's rude. Get the heck yeah. out of here. Didn't stand much of a chance, but I let them try. Oh, is there one but Yep. I was yeah, like, wait a minute. Is there one behind you? <laughs> <laughs> Can't be that easy. I, I forget what I gave them on the PETA meter, but I feel given, you know, much more experience with Doom, they deserved a higher ranking than I gave them. <laughs> I feel like souls. you probably gave them like a one hey. or a two or something. We've I think got I that gave them a two. Here. Yeah, I got it. It's I, nice. I would say that the Lost Soul, in, in a, a realistic sense, deserves an infinity symbol because it is always going to be the one monster that you are the most annoyed by and also foils you at the worst possible moment. Yeah, plus yeah. there's an enemy that can spawn them. Plus they never even count towards the monster count. Yes, also... But at least there's a hard <laughs> limit to them on each map. In vanilla, yeah. yeah in vanilla. <laughs> it, it is, oh, it is, is the it? monster oh, okay. that exploits your hubris. <laughs> The most. Yeah, that's true. So. Yeah. Whoa! Speaking oh, of... Oh no, oh no. <laughs> well, I've got a blueberry right here, so that's nice. A screaming yep. blueberry. Yep, you haven't used it yet, so... There we go. All right, now yep, you need All it. good, I've, I've done it. Mm -hmm. Just let the stragglers sort them out. Got it. We're good. All right, now I where to? I think I've to? solved the final arena of this map. I just gotta make my way out. Yeah, this looks like something. And hey, it wasn't something. Oh, yep. out of oh, here. Okay. okay, all right, and away we go. On yep. specters. Uh, Five uh, specters is actually the name of the soundtrack. For you know, I appreciate it at least. They uh, show the name of the song that plays in the level with the level name. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, this track pretty jamming. Yeah, this is the intermission music that we don't really ever have a reason to hear because there's no custom intermission text. Right. Or like, you know, the readme screens, the, the info dump screens. Yeah. Which, actually, there is a D... I think I brought this up last video, a DEH patch that changes those to have text, but they're not, you know, anything of import, which... They'll be in a Stuff I Missed video, they just weren't important enough to include, and also I didn't know about them until later. Fair enough. All I'm right. just saying, hey, you're in a Doom mod, you did it, or some, <laughs> you know, non, non-serious non stuff like that. I don't know if we mentioned it on the last video, but man, the sprite that they use for uh, <laughs> oh, Doom Guy yeah. dying is terrifying. Yeah. It's still awful. It's brutal. I, it's still I'm pretty horrendous. sure we have brought it up, but yeah. <laughs> Going all <laughs> red brutal. skull on us. Yeah, he loses all his skin. Yeah. Ooh. Well, uh, next time, more Eternal Doom. Stay eternal tuned. <laughs> Sweet. Until next time, which will never come because eternity is a long time. It's, it's, you know, Just kidding. Couple. See you next time. Yeah. Yep, the end. Bye.